Good afternoon mga kamats. Here's the latest news update brought to us by 95.9 Max News FM Jensen, courtesy of This Week in Asia. A Philippine beauty queen on Wednesday married a local politician twice her age in the southern province of Maguindanao, which is in the Muslim majority region of Bangsamoro. It was the culmination of a relationship that has become a source of controversy and tabloid interest. MP Asmael Toto Mangud the Dato, who is 53, and Sharifa Akil, who is 24, were rumored to have had an affair, while Mangud Dato was still married to another woman, Mylene Mangud Dato. In August, she made a series of accusations on Facebook and described him as a womanizer. Mylene said, under Islamic law, a man may marry up to four wives, but he had already filled up his lots. A husband must also ask permission from his wives before marrying another woman. Sharifa, who was Miss Asia Pacific International 2018, has also defended herself on social media. In a post addressed to Miss Desperada, Sharifa challenged Mylene to proceed to court and flaunt all her evidence. Sharifa also warned Mylene against invoking Islam. Philippine internet users were quick to weigh in on the wedding. Sharifa, who has mixed Qatari and Filipino heritage, grew up in humble surroundings in the shanties of Libak Sultan Kudarat. She became a teacher in her hometown and now works for the province's congressional office. Mangudadato, on the other hand, comes from a politically influential clan. In 2009, his family was targeted during the Maguindanao massacre, which left 58 people dead, including his wife and 34 journalists. He served as the governor of Maguindanao from 2010 to 2019 before being elected to represent Maguindanao's 2nd District in the country's parliament. Beauty pageants are wildly popular in the Philippines and some of Sharifa's fans were dismayed when her engagement to Mangudadat was announced as married women are ineligible to compete in top international beauty pageants. Some internet users wish the couple well, but although the wedding was a welcome distraction for Filipinos during the pandemic, others took the opportunity to demand the financial aid of 10,000 pesos promised by the government that never materialized. The couple limited the number of guests due to the coronavirus pandemic, and their wedding invitation, which was published online, stressed the need for guests to wear face masks throughout the ceremony. And that's the latest news update this afternoon brought to us by Max Capsule, BY Max Coffee, in 95.9 Max News FM, General Santa City.